Hey everyone, welcome to Technical Voice. From the next video, we will see that how we will call our REST APIs from our C# -sharp code. So, for this, I want to tell something before uh, going deep into it. So, you know, when we are calling REST APIs, we need to send uh, some payloads, and when we are receiving the response from the REST APIs, uh, you know, we are getting the response in the JSON form. So when we are sending the request, we are sending the payload in the JSON and when we are receiving the response, we are uh, getting the response in the JSON. It's not mandatory, but usually mostly uh, REST APIs uh, are using the JSON format. So for example, we take the example of create plan. So if, for example, we are creating the plan through our C sharp code and we need to send the uh, this JSON and also when we are receiving the uh, response we will get this json okay so so for for better programming we will not use exactly this json and for example we are creating the json in the string and then we will manipulate the thing uh, in the json so we will use the c sharp classes so when we will uh, structure our c sharp class we will fill our all the requests in the c sharp class then we will serialize it and when we get the response from the REST APIs, we will deserialize that JSON into our C# -sharp class. Okay, so that means we need the C# -sharp classes that exactly match that this request and that response. Okay, so for this one, create plan. Okay, so we have bunch of other REST APIs. So that would be easy. That we 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 have you know C# -sharp classes for request and response. So the one way to create the C# -sharp class that you can just do, you know, some donkey work and you create the exactly same C# -sharp classes for create a C# -sharp class that create request uh, class and then public string product ID, then name, then plan, then blah blah blah. So to to speed up the things, so what we can do is we can create exactly the same C# -sharp classes so from the online tool or you can create your own one so but we already have you know the online tool so don't reinvent the wheel so convert json to c shop so there are many online tools but i use this one so just paste your valid json here and convert so you can see that it just created all the JSON into C# -sharp classes. So this is our root. So this is the root one, and that root contains the product ID, the name, then description, then status, then the other billing cycles. And so it creates the billing cycles cl uh, class uh, separately. Okay. So now uh, you can also uh, you can copy and create there, but if you download it, uh, zip as a file it will you know uh, create separate files into the classes okay so when I will uh, call the rest APIs I will use these classes that I have already generated but I just want to show you guys that that's how I have generated the uh, you know request and response classes okay so that's it for this video I'll see you in the next video where we will call the uh, rest APIs to authenticate our request thanks bye bye